we just entered a not guilty plea and set a future court date. Okay. Yeah. And are you f going to be for sure his um, federal I defender? Will be part of his defense team. Yes. Okay. How how is um, Mr. Jameson doing right now? As he's been in custody, I know there's a lot of family support. I imagine they want him home. Can you can you kind of give us an idea on how he's holding up? He's holding up as best as possible under the circumstances. Um, where is he being held in custody? Is he at Fresno County Jail or? He is here, yes. Okay. And has he alluded to anything to you in regards to, you know, the allegations against him? Uh, we are not prepared to talk about that at this time. All right. So next time we'll see him in court is April. And can you kind of tell us again what we can expect on that date? That's a status conference. We're just going to update the court as to what the next step will be. The court wants us to set a trial date at that time. Uh, and we're going to let the court know what motions or uh, what trial date we think is appropriate and what motions we want to file and what steps we want to take at that point. So from here until April, Mr. Uh, Jameson will remain in custody, correct? Uh, yes. And the reason you asked the judge for 90 days was because there was so much discovery material? We just received the discovery today. We need time to review. And how many, how long is it again? The government represented there was over 8,000 pages and recordings and other materials. And so what will that the 90 days for you entail? Just going over it and... and what, you know, kind of tell us what that what that means. We need to review his discovery, do our legal research, do our investigation, do our due diligence on the case. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.